Also, two things you should know. I'm wearing a bonnet and I've got a bee in it. There's a bee in my bonnet. So, this week something pretty big has happened to some awards. I don't know, some guy called like Leopold de Candeo won some kind of prize. But I'm here to talk about the awards we really care about, the 2016 British LGBT Awards. And what a phenomenal cock-up they have made of the nominees. I know I'm not the first person to talk about this, but I'm just honestly amazed by the extent of the failure to nominate people who should be nominated in these categories. Wow. For those of you who don't know, the 2016 British LGBT Awards is an award ceremony designed to award awards to members of the LGBT community, that's lesbian, gay, bisexual and transsexual, who've made a big impact in the world. It's mostly celebrity and media based, there's sports categories and then there are also categories for things like corporate allies and charity events. The reason that this year has been so controversial is the nominations they've chosen for some specific categories, the straight ally categories, but it actually, it goes a lot, a lot deeper than this. So, buckle up. The reason most people have got their knickers in a twist about this is the nomination of, specifically, Zoella and Zayn Malik. Uh, Zoella in the straight ally category and Zayn Malik for the music category. Talk about Zoella first. Zoella was basically nominated for having a gay best friend in Tyler Oakley. <sighs> Frankly, the idea of the whole, the whole of the straight ally category pees me off because we are rewarding people for behaviours that they should be exhibiting anyway and when you make being a straight ally something that's worth a reward you make it seem abnormal and special and people feel like they are going out of their way to you know treat gay people like humans and then if they you know aren't treating gay people like humans they assume that that's the default level of being a person which no please oh uh, no Zayn Malik, on the other hand, was nominated in the music category. By the way, this isn't the, the straight ally music category. This LGBT awards website has a category for music which includes artists like Zayn Malik and Adele. The LGBT awards show has a category for LGBT music which doesn't contain exclusively LGBT musicians. This is actually a problem in a number of the categories. Categories like music, global icon and sports personality are full of straight people. They have a little disclaimer on their website about this whole, you know, issue where they say, as part of our ongoing commitment to diversity and inclusion, the British LGBT Awards accepted public nominations in this category regardless of the nominee's sexuality, gender, ethnicity, disability, age, education, race and religion. I feel like maybe, maybe, if you want to make the rewards as diverse as possible, only accept nominations for only, you know, LGBT people, but maybe work a little harder to find more nominations than the 10 people of colour you included in the 80 categories. In fact, there are 23 non-LGBT nominees, there are 10 non-white nominees, and there are 6 trans nominees. There are more non-LGBT nominees for these LGBT awards than there are trans and non-white people put together. Now I've got over how angry I am at nominating straight people for LGBT awards, let's look at some of the people they chose. One of the straight allies that they want to give an award to is Eddie Redmayne. This is Eddie, not trans, but playing a trans woman in a blockbuster film, Redmayne. Maybe if he was actually an ally to the LGBT community, he would put aside his personal ego and allow a trans woman to be cast in a film about trans women. Another nominee for Straight Ally is Nigella Lawson. Now, Nigella's done some wonderful things with the Terence Higgins Trust, which is a gay rights charity, but in her description of why she was nominated, it also says, as something that is meant to be a positive, <clears throat> she has joked that she considers herself to be a gay man in a woman's body. It gets worse. In the gay icon category, which is a category which is, you know, open to LGBT nominees, but is half straight nominees, we have people like Jennifer Saunders, 
who was nominated because of her TV show, Absolutely Fabulous, which has a huge gay audience, and a joke where Jennifer's character gets sad because her daughter is straight. Another celebrity nominated for gay icon status is Hillary Clinton. This is Hillary Clinton, who in 2002 was asked if she supported gay marriage in the state of New York, to which she said, No. I understand that award shows are meant to make money, that's why they exist. But if you're so desperate to include straight allies to, like, improve your mainstream appeal, which kinda seems counter to the idea of rewarding the LGBT community anyway, can you at least try and find some straight allies who are actually allied to our community? This is another peeve of mine, but I kind of hate that the straight ally category is called straight ally instead of straight cis ally, because, spoiler alert, trans people can be straight and still part of the LGBT community. This one is more specific to me and I haven't really heard people talking about it, but I also hate how many brands are involved in this award ceremony. Most of the awards are sponsored, as is usual, for, you know, award shows. But they also have awards for brands, and some of them are pretty tenuous. <clears throat> Match.com is nominated in the Best Brand and Marketing Campaign of 2016. Do you know why? I quote directly from the website. Match.com. The website has seen an increase in the LGBT community visiting their site. This year, they released an advert which was based on highlighting loving your imperfections. Match.com believes that there is someone for everyone, and if you don't love your imperfections, someone else will. So not only is this website being essentially nominated for having LGBT people use it, the website is also implying that being gay is an imperfection. By the way, three of the brands nominated, Sainsbury's, Tiffany, Co and Visit Britain slash Expedia, are all nominated for having adverts with gay people in them. Do you see what I mean about making the most trivial level of stuff special? If we award people for doing things that they should be doing anyway, then it makes it seem like going above and beyond, when really, it's just, it's basic. It's basic stuff. So that's a summary of why I'm annoyed at the British LGBT awards has a third, a third of its nominees, non-LGBT people, many of whom actively have hurt the LGBT community in the past, or just recently, just like, currently. Gosh, I wish I, um, wish I had a gay best friend so I could win an LGBT award.